Did you have a mental checkup? Doc? Where's the doc? Doc? Did, did you get a mental checkup? I'm trying to block the camera. I'm trying to talk, and you blocking the camera. By the time this gets out, by the time you all hear this, I would have destroyed this Italian stallion. What's it called? No, Mussolini is the Italian stallion now. The Italian stallion. The other guy is Luke Capuano. Is that what I'm fighting? Capuano. Luke Capuano. Mussolini, Al Capuano. Mussolini, I don't care. Uh, Al Capone, Capuano. all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and the baddest one was Al Capone. Look out. The rest of them jiving, trying to be bad. Look out. He weighs 180 pounds and he says he's gonna knock you. Pounds? He's gonna knock you down I'm three still times. Too fast. Look I'm still too fast. I still got two hundred eighty pounds. I'm still too fast. I'm still too fast. Man, I don't have a chance. I'm so fast. Say boy, I'm so fast. I can go over there and I get there a few minutes ago. Uh oh. Mom, so far, hold your hand up. Hold your hand up. Hold your hand up. Put the camera back over here. Hold your hand up. I'm going to hit you 10 times before you count two. Okay. When I say go, you count two. Okay. I'm going to hit you 10 times before you count two. All right. Go. No. When I say go, you say one, two. Quick okay. as you can. All right. Okay. I'm going to hit you 10 times before you count two. When I say okay. go, you say one, two. Ready? Okay. Go. One, two. You want to see it again? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the camera, the cameras are too slow. <laughs> the time they flicked, I hit, ten, I hit you ten times and gone. You fast. You fast. Captain Leonard says he's going to knock you down three times what? in the first round. I, I hit him so hard, I jars Kim folks in Italy. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> but this is going to be a good show tonight. I'm glad to know that the people will have a chance see me live and living color, Look even out. in exhibition, because they can't afford to pay for a real fight in this out. town. Out. Does this place sold out tonight? Out. You got a crowd tonight? Oh, man. No kidding? Look how I draw. Just exhibition. And I draw. Look out. Yeah, man. Rainside seats come to $1,000 or less. Speaks fight. They charge $1,000 less seats. Making all records. Never be no more like me. Right, boy? <laughs> Never right. more. And what it. kills it, I'm humble. <laughs> yeah. That's right. See, people say, Ali's conceited. It's like not that. that. It's just hard to be humble See? when you're as great as I am. Look out. <laughs> Bad. Fast. Look at that face. Look at the nose. Uh, pretty for a man, a fighter. Pretty. No, I'm pretty. Been talking like it's 15 years. Right. Haven't been shut up yet. Right. Been hollering 15 years. Right. They thought Sonny Liston would get me. I say, he don't stand a chance. Wiped him out. Ten years later, George Fulman thought he'd get me. Wiped him out. Came back. Joe Frazier knocked me down. Came back and shocked the world. Ken Long broke my jaw. Came back and whooped him twice. Sphinx got me. They knew it was finished. Came back and shocked the world. The greatest of all times. Of all times. You know that, don't you? Boy, you're not as dumb as you look. The greatest of all time. That's the me that'll come no more. The doctor wants to take your blood pressure. Now come no more after me. <laughs> that was the Alabama computer. That was the Alabama computer. Unless the Madison Governor's Wallace ran that computer. I was not gonna win. Hell, if Malcolm X and Elgin Cleaver ran the computer, I would have won. Talking about that Rocket Mars Santa computer. They said Rocket Mars Santa beat you on the computer. The computer beat me. Who ran the computer? Unless the Madison Governor Wallace. How am I gonna win? Let Rap Brown and Elsa Cleaver run the computer. I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch the ladies. She got a dress. You can give this kid the lesson of his life. You're gonna show him that he's not a fighter. He's talking a lot of talk about I'm talk too much. I'm cocky. I heard all this kind of stuff. He he appreciates honor. He's looking for reputation. He's, he's right. If he can knock me down, if he can look good tonight, he'll be in the world news tomorrow. You're covering this little exhibition like it's world news. Whatever I do is it shows up. If I lose the exhibition, it looks bad. If I lose a, a fight, it looks bad. I'm so great in this field today. I got to be right. I'm out of shape. I'm not in condition, so I'm not going to play. Tell him to stay out of my range because I'm going to knock him out. Looks like you've been enjoying the ice cream. Now I'm having a good time. <laughs> overweight, but I'm going to show you I'm so good and so natural. With this young boy who's been training, he's had a warning, 180 some pounds, I will wipe him out. How's it feel to come back and find a woman look wipe like she's going to be married? Find what? A woman going to be married? Can't never tell. Women today are uh, not like they used to be. 
They want to do everything. They want to take jackhammers, work on the street, and they want to beat up men. So you can't tell. The women be surprised if a woman starts boxing for the world heavyweight title. Well, you stick one around, won't you? One of those, one of those real liberated women might want to fight for the world heavyweight title, and one of them might be strong enough to fight for the world title. You're giving the kid a good, another good break tonight, and we thank you. Hmm? You're giving the kid a good break tonight, and that's important. Yeah, I mean, he'll get a good break, a real good break. <laughs> Maybe he'll break his talk, he ain't careful. He'll get a good break, Bart. I'm getting that. tired now, you're making me mad. <laughs> yeah. Just moments away now, you're getting little butterflies? Oh, yeah, Chan. I'm kind of nervous now, you know. I'm uh, thinking more about the fight than I did earlier. And he's starting to do his talking out in the hallway now. That's not going to affect you, huh? Well, I expected it from him. I expected it from him. Uh, it's one of his tactics, and uh, I, uh, I'm ready for him. I'm ready. You have a big delegation from the neighborhood out there. Always starting to whoop it up a little bit. Yeah, they uh, they come out see me all the time, and uh, that's uh, that's where I get my strength. I tell you the truth. These guys come out in this kind of weather all the time, and they give me a lot of support, and I appreciate it. You're going to let him enter the ring first, aren't you? Uh, I like to, but I, th there's no way he's going to come in first. I'm, uh, I'll enter the ring first, and I'll be waiting for him. You going to try anything different than we talked about the other night? No, I'm more or less going to work uh, on crowning him and uh, cramping his style and taking away his reach advantage. He says he's out of shape, so he's got to fight. He can't box. Well, then uh, that's good for me. <laughs> if he's got to fight, that's good for me. I was more or less hoping he'd run around. But uh, if he's uh, not in shape and he's going to stick around and fight, then that, that's good for me because uh, that's the way I like it. You get him running, he may drop. Uh, <laughs> I doubt that, but uh, I like to see him backpedal. I like to see him backpedal. It's a big night for you and a big crowd. Lukey, good luck to you again. Thank you a lot, Chan. Thank you.
Right as the round ends. Watch. As soon as the round ends. in the opening minute now of round three. Luke Capuano has not been afraid to mix it up with Ali, but that 14-inch advantage that Ali has, and he's 6-3 going against 5-10. Luke just can't get to him, but they had a good exchange in the second round after Ali primarily used the rope at open the alley-oop to entertain the crowd in the first round. But it has been a good bout so far. It's been very entertaining. I think that's the important factor. It's been a, a fun night for everybody here, and of course, whether Ali shows up at Madison Square Garden, New York, or the Superdome in New Orleans, he brings out the crowd, and they react the same way. But right now, we're in the 
second minute of round three. And of course, there's no question who's, what the outcome will be, but Muhammad Ali is giving the kid a big night under the lights here at DePaul University. It's been fun, and we'll have the highlights tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Weighs about 241, he told me. He's way out of shape. He's been traveling a lot, and of course, you know how he loves that ice cream. <laughs> Control, go ahead.
Each weeknight on ABC.